1 Corinthians chapter 6, lesson 6, part 2. Corruption and questions in the church. Those who practice such things deserve death. See Romans 1, 29 through 32. Paul uses rhetorical language to get his point across. Everything is permissible to me. 1 Corinthians 6, 12. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of anything. Some Corinthians were using a twisted reasoning to justify sin. It seems they even had a saying, food for the stomach and the stomach for food. Paul will now use that to give some good tips on how to properly handle Christian liberties. 1 Corinthians 6.13 Foods for the belly and the belly for foods. But God will bring to nothing both it and them. But the body is not for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. Then bring it all back to the topic of sexual immorality to hammer home the error of their reasoning. 1 Corinthians 6, 14-15 Now God raised up the Lord, and will also raise us up by his power. Don't you know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? May it never be. We can guess how the mixed-up Corinthians were justifying their actions. It's just biology, they would say. Food is for the stomach, and the stomach is for food. It's all a natural process. In the same way, sexuality is a natural process. It's the way God made us man. It's natural. As long as you love the person, it's okay, right? 1 Corinthians 6.16 6, Or don't you know that he who is joined to a prostitute is one body? For the two, says he, will become one flesh. Hopefully, some were in disagreement and asked, But what does God say? We need to listen to God. This present world is bound for destruction. Only that which is eternal will stand. 1 Corinthians 6.17 But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit. What really is permissible to me? We need to study God's word to find out. Do not do that which is not permissible. For those things that are really permissible. 1 Corinthians 6.18 Flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body, but he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Perhaps those things that are not spelled out in scripture, neutral things, Paul gives some filtering tips. Is what I am doing beneficial? What is the potential that it will enslave me? 1 Corinthians 6.19 Or don't you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you, which you have from God? You are not your own. We were bought for a price. We have been united spiritually to God. The Holy Spirit resides in us. Each of us, singular, are his temple. How could we use our bodies in a way that would bring dishonor to God? 1 Corinthians 6.20 For you were bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Lesson 6, Part 2, The End